So in question number six of this first exercise, we have been given a situation where a courier goes on cycles from a town to a neighboring suburban area to deliver a parcel to a merchant. His distance from the town at different times is shown by the following line graph. Now if we see the following line graph where the x-axis represents the time and the y-axis represents the distance in kilometers. So basically we'll have to observe the line graph and answer the questions that follows. Let us take each of the questions one by one. So in question A, we'll have to find the scale taken for the time axis. Now since the horizontal axis represents the time axis, now this small square represents one unit. So we have four units between an R. So to write the scale of the time axis, we can say that the scale of this line graph of the time axis is four units as a set of four units represents one R. So this is the scale of this time axis. Moving on to question B, where we'll have to find out the time required for the person for the whole travel. As we see that, if we observe the time axis, so his travel started at 8 m from this point and he reached his destination somewhere at this time. Now as this time is exactly in middle of 11 am and 12 noon, so we can say that this point is definitely 11.30 am. So he started his travel at 8 am and his travel got over at 11.30 am. So basically to answer this B question, he took three and a half hours to complete his travel. Now moving on to question C, where we'll have to find out the distance he traveled to reach the merchant from the town. So for this, we'll have to observe the vertical axis. As we see that the distance, the final distance on the vertical axis would be given by this point. So this point marks 22 kilometers on Y axis. It means that the person traveled for 22 kilometers to reach the merchant from his town. Now moving on to the next question, which is question D. We'll have to examine whether the person st stopped on his way. And we'll also have to give an explanation for this. Now, if we observe the horizontal axis, we see that during the interval from 10 a.m. to this point, the distance covered is not increasing. It is constant and the value is 16 kilometers. So from 10 a.m. to this point, which is exactly in the middle of 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. So 10.30 a.m. So from 10 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. The distance is constant, which is 16 kilometers. So we can definitely say that the person was not traveling for this time period. And this we understood by this straight line. So we can say for sure, yes, the person stopped during this time period. So basically he stopped between 10 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. Let us now move on to question E but we'll have to find out the time period where he write the fastest. So as we see that he covered, he covered 10 kilometers between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. He covered six kilometers between 9 a.m. 
to 10 am 0 kilometers between 10 to 10.30 and from 10.30 to 11.30 for the last one hour he covered 6 kilometers. So as we see that he is covering the maximum kilometers during the first hour or to answer this question he wrote the fastest between the time period of 8 am to 9 am. So these are the different ways through which we can observe the line graph and answer the questions. And this is how we are going to answer question number 6 of this first exercise. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.